we're back with another video. Um, this is Teresa, and I want to welcome you to the video. And um, I would like to say thanks to all of our subscribers, those of you that faithfully watch us. We appreciate you very much. Um, if you're watching for the first time, welcome to the TNT community. Um, we ask that you hit that um, subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. I really believe you'll like the content. Um, we definitely enjoy everything that we do on this channel. So um, come on and be a part of the TNT community. Um, thanks again to all of our subscribers. And um, today for you all, I'm going to do my um, pr uh, cream cheese pound cake. Now, all I can say about this, count, this, this pound cake is that I know for a certain that my family loves for me to make this cream cheese pound cake. Um, I know on, on YouTube there are a lot of videos of people making um, cream cheese pound cakes. So I was like, hey, I want to show people how I make mine. <laughs> and uh, I really believe that uh, you'll like the recipe. To me, it's very simple. It's nothing to making this cake. You can do it. Um, not just Thanksgiving, um, Christmas, any time of the year, um, you can make this cake. I have people that will text me or call me and say, hey, um, can you make me a cream cheese pound cake? And like I say, it's nothing to it. So today I just want to share with you, uh, this is uh, Thanksgiving Eve, and I want to share with you how I'm getting ready to make a cream cheese pound cake. Uh, now, let's get into this video. So... For my ingredients, now, this, this is Teresa. I don't have nothing against how somebody else do they uh, cream cheese pound cake. That's your business. But this is how I prefer to do mine. And if I don't have these particular ingredients, now, this is Teresa. If I don't have these particular ingredients, I just don't want to make the cream cheese uh, pound cake. Because to me, it's my ingredients uh, that sell the cake. And I, like I said, I'm very particular. Most people that know me, uh, they always talk about how particular I am with certain things anyway. Like some people choose Miracle Whip. I like uh, Kraft mayonnaise. So everybody have their preference and these are my preference. So these are your ingredients for my cream cheese pound cake. I always use Philadelphia cream cheese, the original Philadelphia cream cheese. And this is your, uh, as you can see right here, Philadelphia cream cheese. This is, is your little eight ounce uh, little package right here, okay? Okay, and then um, I always, this is the only kind of butter I use, Land Lakes butter. I use three sticks of the Land Lakes butter. And no, this is not cool with, but these are the little containers that I like to put my um, other ingredients in. This is my sugar. I have three cups of sugar in here. The only type of sugar that I use or the only brand that I use is Dixie Crystal. And I've got three cups of Dix Dixie Crystal sugar in here. And the uh, type of flour that I use for my pound cake is White Lily All Purpose uh, flour and I have three cups of white lily all-purpose flour in here. Okay, that's three cups of white lily and uh, three cups of sugar. And um, I most definitely, guys, I put the um, ingredients uh, in the description at uh, at the end of the video. And the last thing that I use here are six eggs. I've gone ahead already and cracked my eggs, but I have six eggs in here, and uh, we're gonna put those in. So I'm going to show you all how to um, do that. Oh, one last thing I forgot to put. Hold your horses. Um, and I only use McCormick's Pure Vanilla Extract. Not vanilla flavor, but I use the extract. Okay? Pure Vanilla Extract. That's what I use. And I'll use, um, really, it's... About a half of a cup, but sometimes I pay, I pour a little bit more. Not half of a cup, but a half of a um, tablespoon, a half of a tablespoon. But I may pour a little bit more than that. But anywho, that's what I use, okay? All right, guys, we're getting ready to get into this video. Let's just sit that there. And the first thing I do is open up my butter. And let me say this about my butter. It's been out um, all night. I like to leave my ingredients out overnight. My eggs, my butter, my cream cheese, they've all been sitting overnight and they're very soft, very soft. 
And so we're going to put the three sticks of butter in here. Open these up and just drop them in my um, mixer here. Real simple, guys. This recipe is real simple. And anybody that like to cook or like to bake or maybe you don't like to bake and you want to use the recipe, to me, this is a very easy one. Okay? Three sticks of butter. All right. Putting that in. And I have my KitchenAid um, mixer here. We're going And I've got the uh, panel attachment to it. We're going to put it in. Close it up. And we're going to um, just try to soften this butter a little bit more here. I'm going to mix that together. So we know this is Thanksgiving Eve. I don't know what you guys are cooking or making. Um, but we here at the TNT community want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, be grateful. Be thankful. We know that this year has been, um, oh my goodness, a lot has gone on. But, you know, be thankful that you're still here. But there, there are those that, you know, have lost loved ones or whatever the case may be. So if you're here to enjoy this Thanksgiving, be thankful for it, okay? So we're, we're um, mixing this butter together. We'll just mix it together. About, about a minute. I usually do it about a minute. Just mix it together for about a minute till it softens. Okay. And that has happened. Okay. And now the next thing that I do, I um I open up my cream cheese. I'm gonna put it in next, okay? Now if if I wasn't doing this video, I would have this already done. Um, and just putting it on in. But I, I wanted to show you all, you know, what I use and everything. And let me say this. If you have everything already prepared, guys, this cake does not take any time. It doesn't take any time. You just put it together. And, um, it, you know, it, it just, it's really a quick recipe to make. Okay? All right. So, before I put my cream cheese in, I always open my, um, and it, I just want to make sure that this butter is softened enough like I want it, and it is. And I always scrape down the sides of my bowl, making sure everything is incorporated together. And you do that like that. Okay. And now we're going to place in. Close this back up. And there we go. That's mixing. Okay? And, and like I say, it's really a simple um, recipe. And now we're just going to, once again, just blend these two together, the butter and the cream cheese. You want to blend them together. The next ingredient that we'll put in is the sugar, okay? We're going to just blend this together. I like to tell people when you're blending your butter and your cream cheese together to know that it's blended, it'll begin to look real creamy like, to me like ice cream, like a vanilla ice cream, real creamy. And it's getting there. It's looking real creamy. All right, and so let me. I'm. A, I just want to show you guys. When I say it looks like um ice cream, see how creamy that is. Look at that. See how creamy that is. You want it creamy like that. I don't know if you can. Um, let me just show you. See, it's real creamy, and that's what you want it to to look like. Real creamy, like ice cream. Okay. Once again, we're scraping down the sides of our bowl. Making sure everything is incorporated in there. And I like to clean my spatula off. Make sure we've got everything in, in this bowl. Okay? Alright. Now, I'm going to put this back in. Lock it. Alright. Now. 
put, put my sugar in. Oh, that looks real good. Okay, now we're going to place my sugar in just a little bit along. Place a little bit more in. Making sure that each time you do it, you're just making sure that the sugar is getting incorporated in there. Do you have to have your mix on a certain speed? Well, I do. Um, each step to me, um, it, it uh, like when I'm pouring, like now I've got it on uh, number four. And then when I get ready to pour some more, I turn it back to two so that it can, you know, get it in. I don't want it, everything <coughs> falling up out of the um, bowl. So I turn it down, then I turn it back to, you got a two, four, six, eight, ten speed on here. So right now I've got it on four. Now I put it down, and now that's my last little bit of the sugar. I'm gonna put that in. Okay, that's the last little bit of that. And now, what I do, from anywhere to three to five minutes, I just let this mix on four. I just let it mix, getting some air into this batter, just getting some air into it. And so I just let it mix. While it's doing that, I clean up the dishes that I've used already. Can't stand the dirty kitchen. So we're gonna get these dishes cleaned up right here. And what I do, I look at my clock on my um, oven, and uh, that's how I time it. I'll time it from, usually I do about four to five minutes. That's usually what I do. But in the process, I'm going to turn it off and wipe down the side, making sure everything is getting incorporated, and start it back again. I don't know why my um, thing on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go back. I probably went out. I took it off to wash it the last time I was it in yesterday. But it's mixing well, guys. It's mixing up really good. And so that's what we want. And this cake calls for, now, some people cook it on 350. Uh, some people cook it on 325. I do 325 for an hour and 20 minutes, but I check it after about an hour. Between an hour, hour and ten minutes, I usually check it to see, you know, how it's doing. If it needs maybe five more minutes or whatever, that's how I do mine. But I cook it on 325. Okay? All right, so I'm going to turn this off. And just like I said, um, I want to just clean off the paddle here and scrape down my sides, making sure everything gets in here good because we want a, a nice moist good cream cheese pound cake okay all right that's done just get in all right now let's put it back in we'll let it mix a bit more, okay? Now, I've been cooking this pound cake for years. I I got, I actually found this recipe when I was um, 15 years old in our newspaper. My, well, my mom found it. And she was like, I believe you can um, cook this pound cake if you try. So I tried it and it turned out good and I've been cooking it ever since. Like I said, I was 15 when I found this recipe. And I've seen a lot of different recipes. People do it. You know, they put all types of, you know, different ingredients or whatever. Um, but this is how I do mine. And like I said, my family loves it. Uh, I get orders for it all the time. So um, I just wanted to share with my TNT community uh, um, this Thanksgiving Eve how I do cream cheese pancakes. All right? It's looking good, guys. It's looking good. Just a few more minutes, 
and then I'm going to put my eggs in. And the way I do egg, my eggs, I put in one at a time. You'll see I'll just turn it down slowly. Um, you know, look the speed. I usually do it on two. Just put them in one at a time. I kind of do my eggs just like I did my sugar. Just making sure everything gets incorporated in there. Okay. And it's looking real good. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn it off again. And wipe down my sides. And then I'm going to put my, uh, my eggs in. This is, oh gosh, y'all. This is just, it smells so good already. <laughs> All right, we're going to get these. Um, side straight down again. Ensuring that everything is incorporated in here. Okay. Oops, I got that on my hand, y'all. Alright, let's get this off again. Turn this on too. And I'm gonna put place my eggs in one at a time, one egg. And we just gonna just make sure that it gets um, incorporated in there. And once it does, you can see it. Okay, then you can go ahead on and put egg number two in. Like right that. Guys, I'm almost done with this uh this cake. I told you it's really simple, really easy. You can do this. Anybody can do this. Alright, that one's incorporated. Egg number three. It's in. There you go. Alright. I, I would like for you um, guys to, to, to comment. Um, if you've ever cooked a cream cheese pound cake before or any type of uh, pound cake, you know, there's a, a recipe that I want to try, um, a sweet potato pound cake. I saw that and I want to try a sweet potato pound cake. I, I guarantee you that's very good. So um, once I get my ingredients together for that, I think that's what I'm going to make for Christmas. And if I choose to, uh, if I decide to do that, I'll, I'll show you guys when I make it. But it's a, um, a um, sweet potato pound cake. I want to try that. I'm just a topic. Let me put my third uh, egg in. Incorporate it. And, and let me tell y'all what's going to happen. Um, I really would like you all to see this here part. What's going to happen is you can see the eggs, um, they're going to they're gonna be looking curdle-like. But they'll look like that for now. But once you put your flour in, you'll see the difference in it. All right, egg number five. That's five. And you can see it's like curling, curling, curling up in there. And then our last egg, six. Okay. Let's clean this bowl right quick. Alright, and then I'm going to show you real quick, like, when I say it's curling, this is what I mean. See how that's curdled all up in there? But once you put your flour in, what we're doing now, wiping down our sides again, scraping down our sides, making sure all of this egg is down in this batter. Okay? Just wanted you guys to see what that looks like. Okay. Let me just wipe some of this off. I don't like that. Alright, now we get it ready. We get it ready to put our flour in. And the way I do my flour, I don't put it all in at one time. I'm going to show you. I just spoon it in. 
Okay, we just gonna screw it in a little bit along. All right, we're just gonna spoon this in. We're gonna, just like this right here. I'm gonna turn it down like this, but I do not want this flour going everywhere. Just put it in like right that. And then we turn it up a little. Just like I did, did all the sugar, run the flour, leave it alone. Open it in. Once it get the mix, then you can turn it up a little. Open in some more. Just like that. Let it mix a little before you turn it up higher. Like that. Open in a little more. Then you can turn it up higher. Keep doing the process, that's all I do. I'm gonna do this one more time. Like that. And then I'm going to Turn it off and wipe down my sides. Okay, just wipe down these sides because we want all this flour in here. Turn it up to four and let it mix. Just a few minutes. And then I'm going to show you my last step. Now, this is how I do my cream cheese cake. I've always done it like this. This is how I do it. Alright? I'm going to stop it. Wipe down these sides. This right here. I gotta make sure I get everything in here, guys. That's why I keep wiping down the sides. I can't stand to see that cake <laughs> up around there like that. So we're gonna wipe these sides out. Alright, the last thing I'm gonna do is put my um vanilla flavor in. Like I said, about a half of a teaspoon. But I put maybe just a little bit more. About that much right back there. And that's it. That's it. We're going to mix this together. For a few minutes. Maybe about. Maybe a good minute. And that's all. Because you don't want to. You don't ever want to mix your cake too much. It makes it rubbery. Okay. So we're just going to mix it just a little bit to make sure this vanilla is all incorporated in there. And that's going to be it. I've got my cake pan here. It's already been greased. Um, already been, um, I used the baker's joy. Spray it down. We get ready to put this cake in here. Dot is it. We're going to take our paddle attachment off of here. Alright. And I like to 
get all of this goodness off of here. Just like this. Get all of that off. There's a lot of it mixed on there. I'm going to make sure we got it all off. Okay? Alright? And now, just like this. Alright. Now I'm going to push that back and take this off of here. So I can show you guys what this batter looks like after we get done with it. Now you have, I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? That's what your batter looks like when you're done. Nice, creamy, rich looking vanilla type. Uh, if it looks like that, trust and believe, you got a good cake. You got a good cake. So now we're gonna place it in the, in the pan. Just keep turning it around and placing my batter in. Okay. Now I'm gonna get up. Give me another spoon. Because I've got to get all of these goodness out of here. We want to get all of this out. So I go by. Put that in. Okay. Just like that, guys. Alright. Now we're going to scrape this. Make sure we get all of this goodness off of here. We want it all, guys. We want all of this goodness to go in this cake. Just like this. Okay? Now, all I'm going to do is take the sides of my spoon and go around, go around the cake like this. That's how you do. And then I do want to just take and get that to be right there. And that's it. And then the next thing I do, I just shake it a little like this right here. Make it kind of get it to even up. And then I always, 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 I shake my cake on the counter three times. That's so that everything can settle. One, two, three. That's it. Now, I'm getting ready to set, preheat my oven to 325 degrees. We're going to set it in there for, like I say, I'm going to set the timer for an hour and 20 minutes. But after about an hour and five minutes, I usually check. Okay? So I'll be back with you all when we get done, um, when I put it out of the oven. Okay? Thanks. Okay, guys. As you can see, my oven is set at 325 degrees. I'm getting ready to um, put our cake in the oven, okay? We're going to set it in that central rack right there. And we're going to let it bake, and I'll get back with you. Yeah. Okay, we're pulling it out now. Toothpick just to test it. Let's see here. It comes.
comes out clean. Comes out clean. Comes out clean. Comes out clean. So we good to go. And I just want to say, um, like I said about this recipe, guys, it's really easy to make. You can do it. Anybody can do it. Um, and and I, 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 I can re recall one time my husband, he was working, and um, one of the co-workers called and asked me if I would um, bake this cake and bring it to a luncheon that they were having. And I mean, I, it was quite a few people at the luncheon, but they wanted this cream cheese pound cake. And so I baked it and um, took it to them. And ever since then, those same people uh, are still, um, you know, calling me from time to time about this particular cream cheese pound cake. So I love to make them. And anybody that needs one, hey, just, just let me know and I'll be glad to make you one. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, you've learned something about this cream cheese cake. And we appreciate you um, for, for listening um, and tuning in. Don't forget to, sub to subscribe to our channel if you've not already done that. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the TNT community. We love to have you. And thanks. And we uh, from the TNT community, from me and Eric and our family, we want to wish everybody a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And I also, oh yeah, let me mention this too real quick like. Our winner of the Sea Moss Capsule, 30 Day Supply Capsule, it goes to Lady Samantha Jackson, one of our subscribers. Lady Samantha Jackson, you won the giveaway for the um, 30 Day Supply of Sea Moss Capsule. So, we're going to try to do another one real soon, and uh, we'll get back with you concerning that. So, thanks again. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, 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 subscribe. We love you. Bye from the Taylors.